Hello and welcome to the Stock Planner channel. Today we're going to discuss healthcare. We're looking to add a few healthcare stocks to our portfolio. Healthcare seems to do or has done reasonably well in the last few weeks. And so I want to take a second look at these stocks. Maybe add a few that I haven't been traded before. But before we do, I want to remind everybody that we are an education channel and we like to share our ideas and help each other and do our own due diligence. If you learn this on your own, watch lots of videos, come up with your own strategy, in the end, you'll win. So let's get started. Well, the weekends are for catching up on your due diligence. Friday, for me, based on my holdings, I didn't do too bad. But it looks like there's a lot of red in the technology and communication services, the technicals. Healthcare seemed a little green here. Utilities and energy. Looking at the groups under Finviz, it's free. Energy and utilities, there it is. There's healthcare, mixed, slightly under. And for the week, about the same position, not as bad as some of the other things. Holding its own. So I want to relook at some of the stocks I'm trading on healthcare and maybe add a couple more. Going to Simply Wall Street, and you can use a scanner for free. You can do some up to five ant free analysis of, of five stocks. I have a paid version, it's $10. You can do up to 30 stocks. And another $10, you can do unlimited. I just have the $10 version because in addition to Simply Wall Street, I use other tools. And this time, I'm going to use a scanner. And I want to scan for United States stocks, healthcare, medical equipment. And I want to filter it out a little bit. The market cap to be $1 billion. Share price above $5 to 200 so They trade options. And I wanted to have some value, but it can be slightly overvalued. Slide this up, it'll be fine to all undervalued stocks. And I did a scan and I filtered out based on what I got about 40 companies. I wanted to have a little bit of future to it, just a little. So I pulled this out for the future. So now I'm looking for snowflakes that are big and green if, if I can find some. And this is sorted by market cap, the biggest companies first. And I want to take a look at Abbott. That's on my watch list, ABT, Boston Scientific. It's not, but I think they make the robotics. Baxter International, various different healthcare products worldwide. I don't know this company. BAX, Viva, nice steady performer for me, VEEB. -E it's been on my watch list for a long time. And I'm going to put Omnicell and InMode, I N M D, Anesthesia Products. Now, how you ever do the, your, your analysis and filtering. That's up to you. This is how I do it. I look for big green snowflakes and companies that I may have heard about. And then I go on to the next step to find out a little bit more about the company. Please leave a comment below on how you do and filter out and find good stocks to trade. Going on to tip ranks is another free tool. And their paid version is quite robust. Their paid version shows a lot of portfolios. You can follow along that way. Anyway, I use it for the... Analyst rating, and you can get this same thing from Finviz. But this has got a strong buy, and we're going to pick stocks out of those six that we just looked at that have a buy rating, and it just does, and a seven or better for the ranking. I mean, they say they're technicals, and we'll look at that a little bit. But yeah, it's been going down. Maybe that's over. They base their technicals on the 20 day and the 200 day moving average. Boston Scientific, strong buy, about $6 growth. And a nine. And Boston Scientific is not the robotics guy. They're making cardiovascular products, heart mechanical devices to use for your cardiovascular disorder. Baxter International, BAX, trading at 86, going to 96, $10, strong buy. And a number 10 on our ranking, strong stock. Operates six global businesses. It's a holding company. This is a profitable company. Viva. Been on my watch list for some time and traded it often. Time to have a second look. According to tip ranks, the target is 260. And that's an average. Some people have it up at 300. Moderate buy. That fits our requirements. But it's a four. And we want seven or better. Amacel. Tracks and controls medication administration. Strong buy. Trading at 134. Going to 192. That's a good jump there. But only a five. Hedge fund activity has decreased. Technicals are negative. Yes, it's, it is heading down. Will it end? 
in mode, $38, going to 84 That's a big jump, too. Strong buy. Covered by three analysts. Nine ranking. I like this stock. Medical anesthesia products. Well, the next phase is I want to look at the chart. And we're going to look at three stocks. BSX, Baxter, BAX, and InMode. And we're not going to look at Abbott, Viva, and Amisel. Just for kickers, I'm looking at Viva on TradingView. It's a free software package that you can use for charting, creating a watch list, and doing some indicator analysis. This has got nice long swing. That's why I liked it in the past. But look at this. Dive, dive, dive from December. And it gapped down here. And that must have been based on some bad earnings. Anyway, it's not on my list, but it, it was an old friend. And I hate to kick it to the gutter. This is Boston Scientific BSX on a daily time frame. This is the zigzag indicator. It's a visual indicator. I use it to use and find other indicators. This is the MACD. And I use it when the MACD is below the zero. I look for long. And above the zero, I look for short. The stochastic RSI, I look for a crossover within three or four bars of, of the other indicators. And the RSI, when it's in the oversold or overbought condition, that's the time I look for long trades or short trades. And when they all three occur together, I consider that a strong single and a buy single. That would have been a nice ride. All three occurred within three or four bars of each other. And likewise here, stochastic. It occurred about three bars earlier, and this would be a short here, but we're looking for long trades here, so, and these would be shorts too. They wouldn't last very long. Now, I trade options, and I like a, a stock that goes for about 45 days, and if you took this single, this certainly has lasted 45 days above, above a certain point, but look at the chop on this. Every few days, it swings back and forth. It, it depends on where you enter it. This would take you out. If you entered it here, you'd go out here. Maybe seven or eight days. You'd have a losing trade on your hands. That, that would scare a lot of people. And doing a back test with an algorithm that I'm searching for stocks that trade well with options. 45 days and beyond. This didn't do well, this stock. PSX. A lot of chop. And lately, you see a lot of this chop here. It's been hanging around this area here. The MAC is not showing much momentum, so I think his stock is going to be range-bound, not trending. Next stock is Baxter, a holding company for several companies. Nice swinging, and if you use my strategy of three indicators all occurring within two or three bars, that would have produced a nice run. The same thing here, a little pain, and a short run, and nothing burger. Lately, this thing has been range-bound. And because I trade options 45 days out, I'd like to see a gradual increase, but to stay above a certain point. And this is too much chop here and too much chop here for that. This would have worked out. So again, a back test of BAX using a different algorithm for two years. This stock did not perform well with that algorithm for long term, a few singles. But it seems to be okay if, if you're able to find an indicator to get out because it shows a profit each time you need to be able to, to identify when to get out quickly maybe around five percent so you could set your stop losses at five percent and three percent stop loss and five percent target target five percent three percent take quick profits with this stock but it's not going to work with a lot of stocks that i trade because i i, I want to trade options pay a little less money have a greater odds of win it's too quick the last stock is i n md in mode and does you see the difference of this stock versus the other two choppy stocks the other two were range bound this is trending and a trending maybe it's starting to become range bound here we don't know but there's lots of signals here for long long this is on the zero line long i love these kind when they're deep like that long and that would have been a loser and a long here Maybe act the little window out. But this would have been a short right about there. So I don't know. When I do the back tests with this on long term, lasting uh, singles that last more than 45 days, this had a 71% win rate. So I believe all three stocks could be traded. The first two, 
Baxter and BSX, Boston Scientific, you'll have to do shorter profit targets. And if you want to trade options, this seems to be the stock to do. Now, these trends definitely last more than 45 days. So there you have it. Three healthcare stocks to add to your watch list. In mode, strong buy. Look at this jump here from 38 to 84. Baxter from trading at 86 to 96. That's a good jump, strong buy. And Boston Scientific from 43 to 49, strong buy. Stocks, healthcare stock to add to your watch list. I hope this helps. Please like and subscribe. Do your own due diligence. Let me know how you find stocks. Let me know what you're trading in the healthcare sector. I'd like to hear your comments. Happy trading. Catch you in the flip.